I may have the world's strangest slash weirdest, maybe grossest, puzzle box. I mean, unless you're into feet. If you're a foot guy, this, <laughs> I've got you covered. We're looking at a foot. This is a beautifully crafted uh, puzzle, Japanese puzzle box by Akio Kamei and Osamu Kasho. This foot represents a unique Japanese story. Japanese people walk around their house without shoes on, so they sometimes hit their pinky toe against the corner of a piece of furniture in the room. And then someone declared, I want to change the pain to laughter when I hit my foot on the corner of furniture. So the craftsman decided to make it. It's an interesting story, you know, people bump their feet. Instead of like being like, ah, my foot, they're gonna be like, ha ha, ha puzzle foot. I don't know if that makes sense, but hey, here we are. I ordered this straight from Japan. I saw it on a website and I was like, I need to have this. It doesn't look terribly difficult because it only has a few little options going on. It's beautifully made. I know it looks kind of silly and maybe gross, but it's beautifully made. This is a really, really nice piece of art. Can't wait to solve it, get it done, and put it on my shelf. Definitely a very cool thing to have. A little oddity, if you will. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, solve the foot puzzle. All right, this is a uh, foot. <laughs> <laughs> Cut my finger by the way, so don't mind the band-aid. As I said, I was intrigued by seeing this on the internet and I had to have it. It's just one of those things. It's kind of gross, kind of weird looking, but that's kind of why I wanted to try and solve it. So let's begin the timer. When I took this out of the box, I noticed a few things. First, I didn't toy around with it too much, but I noticed that the pinky, <laughs> The pinky toe moves, which relates to that story about stubbing your pinky toe. I also noticed that the uh, the toenail here, <laughs> by the way, if you're squeamish at all at me like pulling a toenail, you're not alone. I as well find it very bizarre. And I noticed on the heel, there's also this little compartment here and that's all I got to go on for now. So let's let's try to combo some of those two and hopefully that helps. So maybe, Push down the pinky. Pushing the heel, no. Push down the pinky and, oh. Okay, it looks like the toenail comes off. <laughs> God, this is so weird. Oh. And there you have it. Very, very simple puzzle. Wasn't too hard to figure out. <laughs> Super weird, by the way. Stop this. So check out the inner mechanics on this. That is pretty insane. Let's see if I can get a better shot for you guys, actually. There you go. So check out the inner mechanics. There's a spring-loaded, very simply done. So I think just to just to make sure, push the pinky, push the pinky down. No happen to randomly work. Pushing the pinky down. Peeling this guy back. Or is it peeling this guy back first? Yeah. Popping the toenail. Push the pinky. And there you go. That's really satisfying. Let's try that again. Pop the toenail. Push the pinky. Boom. Actually pretty cool. <laughs> uh, paid a lot for this though. So again, I've been I've been had by a simple puzzle regardless if they're easy or not. I just enjoy the craftsmanship because if you look at that, it's very, very well done. Puzzle solved. Just to make sure we did it correctly, they do provide a little solution in a sealed envelope. So let's open this up. I mean, if you need the solution for this. <laughs> Ouch. There it is. So one up, push, open, done. Japanese people live in ha live in house with no shoes on. N no shoes. So they hit their toe against the shelf. I the room. I see. All right, there you have it. I mean, that was pretty simple, pretty straightforward, as I predicted. A lot of fun, though, and I do 
still love it. I'm not disappointed at all with this one. I just wanted it because of the weirdness and the sort of the oddity factor. You know what I mean? Maybe just, maybe I'm just into feet. <laughs> Okay. That being said, we got time for another one. So what do you guys say? Uh, I've had this little puzzle. This is a cake puzzle by Hanayama. A little cast iron, little cast cake puzzle. And uh, it's like a little layer cake. And it is produced by Hanayama. Uh, again, Hanayama have some really good brain teasing puzzles. They're all little metal puzzles. This one probably being no exception. I didn't want to make a full video about this because it's just such a little puzzle. Uh, so I thought I'd include it here as a bonus puzzle uh, for today's video. So without further ado, let's solve the cake. This is the cake puzzle. All of these move sort of individually. And I guess the whole point is to take out these discs. Huh. I'm gonna try to wedge this one here, maybe like in intervals, I'm thinking that might be. Let's bring this guy down. So all the pieces kind of look the same. And I can stagger them. So I'm guessing like staggering them in the proper order is what's going to unlock this thing. Uh, the problem is I have really fat fingers <laughs> and that's not gonna make it easy. See, this one seems to come apart a little bit and maybe that's how they slide out. Is actually giving me quite a hard time here. I'm just It's just hard to stagger like three. Two is fine, but like a third one, you end up shifting. Uh, what happens is you end up shifting uh, the other ones as well, which makes it quite tricky. It's tricky to shift these metal pieces, shift these metal pieces, shift these. It is tricky. Oh. It was a fun little puzzle. It's so hard to move them, especially with this band-aid on my finger. Why did I do this today? Oh, so there's, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting caught up. So there's this little, little part here uh, of the other part. So I think these are all thirds. So technically, if I line up, let's say the bottom one, right? And then here, where the bottom one stops, I line up the middle one. I can just, I can just right? Yes. And the top one, which is going to obviously be the hard one to turn here, I got to bring the top one to line up with the other third, and it's going to be hard to do here. Oh, we're moving it slowly but surely. Come on. There we go, we see the top part. Bring it there. That should be good. Sorry for being out of focus. I'm staring at my hands. I'm not looking at the monitor. Does this open? Like. Okay, maybe if I move that top layer over, let's just do this so that we can get a hold of the top layer here. This is not easy, guys. Like, dexterity level 100 right now. Oh! Oh, look at that! Look what's happening. The cake is falling apart. Won't it just come out? Look, look, where, look where we're at right now. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Boom, boom, boom. 
Layer cake, Dunzo. Ha <laughs> beat you. That's cool. So, if we're looking at the pieces, yeah, they're, they're absolutely identical. So, I guess the whole idea was to line this up in such a way that a third of each is kind of like this so that the top two pieces create enough space that the middle one sort of gets shoved out and then I guess it opens up. So let's try, uh, let's try putting it back, which I don't know if it'll be a little bit harder. So this one we'll put in the bottom, right? I guess two of them are gonna fit in there very easily. And the third one, not so much. Fun thing is we can set it up nicely here, just like we did. Come on, get your get your butt back in there, okay? You you go back in. Is that middle one not lined up? It's so frustrating. I feel like it's gonna get stuck if I keep trying to push it in. Oh! Hey! Yay! Puzzle solved! That was cool. Cake puzzle. Little cake. There you go. Puzzle number two. <laughs> and there you have it. The cake puzzle solved. That was actually a lot more difficult than the foot puzzle, uh, to be honest. A lot of fun. Very logical. You know, when you look at it and you look at the layers, you 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 just kind of have to use your logic. If you go about it randomly, I suppose that it would probably take you a lot longer than it took me. It took me about a total of like 20 minutes. Uh, putting it back together was a little bit more of a pain because there is there's a little bit of, you gotta force it a little bit. I'd expect myself, I think I'm gonna get like a bowl uh, to put all these little tiny cast puzzles in and just leave them on the coffee table and people just can can go at it. My friends don't like to visit me anymore, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, it's just like every time they come over, I'm like, here, try this one, try this one. And then like for like two hours, no one's talking. Or just... But still a lot of fun. Guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it, hope it, hoping it was somewhat entertaining uh, for you guys. That being said, I got my buddy Wes coming over. Wes Barker, ladies and gentlemen. I just featured him in a few videos, the escape room video. If you haven't checked that out, go watch it. I'm gonna be teaching you guys a very, very uh, fooling car trick on the next video, so make sure to hit the notification bell for that. We're also filming one of my favorite ideas ever, and I won't, I won't let you know what that is until it's up. So guys, thank you so much for watching. A like, subscribe, ah, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.